Okay, guys, welcome to my uh, Smarter R YouTube playlist. So today I will show you how to download CMIP6 uh, mon monthly rainfall data. So monthly rainfall data from CMIP6 uh, website. So I will share the screen first. So for these purposes, uh, I am I will be using uh, Bing. Ah, I will be using Bing. So let's put myself down here. Okay. So but for to download CMP6 data, usually I will use Bing. So it's easy to download. So we have so in the Bing, you can just download CMIP6 eh, 6 download. Okay. And then you go to ESGF website here. Then it will load. So it will go to the CMIP6 uh, website. So click CMIP6 search interface. So it will bring you to the, the database where you can download all the CMIP6 uh, data, but it's up to you. So before we download the CMP6 data, we must decide what is the boundary of our data. So I want to download monthly data and I want to download uh, rainfall data, monthly rainfall data. And I want it the resolution of CMP6 data that I download will be 100 kilometer. And I also want to download uh, historical data and SSP 8.5. Uh, I want only two historical data and uh, SSP at five, uh, SSP five and SSP five. So, and I will download the variant will be I one I one P one and F one, and the frequency monthly. Okay, this this is what we, you must decide first before you download the data. You cannot just download just like that. There is so many data. You must decide the boundary first. So usually when I download the data here, you can see this website. Uh, the first thing that I look at from the bit from the bottom up at the left corner here. From the bottom up, you can see variable here. So the variable, if you want to, I want to see to find rainfall. Rainfall, if you want to variable for rainfall is PR. So you can just use control find PR. Okay, you will find. Uh, PR easily here. Use a uh, control find PR. So PR is rainfall. And then realm, I don't need to change anything. And frequency is I want monthly data. Monthly data. Table ID, uh, no need to change anything. Grid label, no need to change anything. Uh, variant label, you must select carefully, which is uh, R1, I1, P1. So uh, the yellow one here, you can select uh, R1, I1, P1, F1. So I will I will select this variant. So you can see the warning here. Uh, because not all the data will have the same variant, but most of the data have this variant. So when you want to compare the model, uh, all the model is the same variant. Uh, you cannot just download uh, everything. So you must select the right variant first. So that uh, it will be apple to apple when you want to make a com comparison. So and then you sub oh, this one no need experiment ID uh, experiment ID because I want to select historical data because I want to compare historical data first. Uh, after I compare the historical historical CMP6, after that I will select the best uh, the best model to make a projection for SSP5. So I will use historical. Data. Okay, see historical and SSP 585. Okay, this one. So, okay, so my experiment ID is two historical and SSP 585. So if I make this boundary, I select this option. The model that will appear is only the model that the monthly rainfall data that CMP6 that have historical and also has SSP 5 data. Uh, because sometimes if you only download a uh, historical but some of the model doesn't have ssp5 so you must select both so you must select historical and ssp5 so the model that have both of this uh, category will be appear 
So and then nominal resolution. This is what I'm recently recently uh, do more frequently now. I will select 100 kilometer GCM because if I doesn't select anything, it will select everything, all the GCM. So some people argue said that the resolution is too high or something like that, but it depends on your study area. But my study area is uh, Peninsula Malaysia, but I think uh, 10 kilometer is sufficient. So I will select CMIP6 that have 100 kilometer, less than 100 kilometer, something like that. 100 meter, 100 kilometer and less than 100 kilometer. So source type. No need. Uh, this is what I'm also uh, recently selecting, which is AOGCM. Uh, A AOGCM means you can search here uh, uh, for regional climate model. Uh, what is uh, you can you can just select. For me, I I will select this category also eh? because I want to make a model that simulate uh, atmosphere and ocean interaction and something like that because uh, climate change is also related with ENSO, related with IOD, related with all the circulation, water circulation and so on that will affect your rainfall data. So I will select the model that uh, consider this uh, atmosphere and ocean uh, GCM. Because some other GCM like CHEM, BG, UGC, they, they consider biogeographical model, they consider chemistry or something like that it's uh, but because my study is only on atmosphere and ocean or something like that just to understand the circulation model so i will just use select ao gcm and then institution id no need to select anything source id no need to select anything but this is source id is the one that we will see how many model will appear here after we select so to select it you cannot just uh, enter search you must select first so all replicas and then it will run you see it will run so it will select all the model that you select this on this boundary just now so it will all appear here see that i also want to this is what you must do you also must show all the version click here and then it will run again so it will show all the version so it's running and then it will appear will give you all the model with all the replicas in all the versions. So this is the condition that you, uh, the constraints that you uh, put for this CMIP6 model. You want uh, atmosphere, ocean, uh, GCM, 100 kilometer, historical SSP 585, R1, I1, P1, F1, monthly PR, uh, something like that. But I don't know, maybe I can uh, remove 100 kilometer. See it running. When you remove some of the constraint, uh, it will run again. Uh, but I want I want to see if I select Where is it one hundred kilometer? Oh, nominal resolution, uh, one hundred kilometer. So all the model that we have just now is at least it has 100 kilometer. So they don't have 10 kilometer. So we can use uh, 100 kilometer. I think 10 kilometer maybe high CMIP, maybe something like that. So we can just select 100 kilometer here. So, so the number of model will reduce because we don't want 100 model is difficult to do any research. So now we want to check which model that we have. Uh, this is the list of the model that we have. Uh, I think all of here we have 33 model. Usually when I download this, uh, all this model, I will put it in, I will put it in Excel. Okay, I put it in the Excel file. So I will need to stop screen. I will show you full screen, entire screen. Huh? So entire screen. So entire screen, you can see uh, I have copied the same physics data channel and then I put it here. So we have here 32 model. 32 model, which is uh, with uh, 100 kilometer, with 100 
uh, AOGCM historical and SSP5. I want I want P1 F1 monthly rainfall and 100 kilometers. So we have 32 model. But after you download all the 32 model, you just download all the historical first. But usually I will just select one by one uh, like this. I will select one by one and then I will search. But that's easy for you to select which model that you want to select first. Uh, something like this. So it's running. You see, it will select AWI CM11MR here. So you will download. Usually, I will check data not ASDF3 here. And then list file. Go to the list file. And then you can download. Uh, you see, it from 2015. Oh, but no, oh, this is SSP5, but I want historical, uh, this one, historical. Uh, first, download the historical first, because you want to compare the historical data. So you can download here, download all the data here, is there. Sometimes they have uh, many, what we call, uh, the file is separated for year by year. Some is it uh, in one package, something like that. It's like that. And then if you want to download another model, after you download, after I download this model, I will select the highlight and then I'll go to the next model. To go to the next model, you can just uh, remove this one and then search. And then it will go back to the list of the GSM model that you, uh, based on the constraint that you select just now. So it will go back here. Uh, you go to the source ID, you see it's all here again. So, for example, I will show you some of the model is actually, it's not there. It's not good. For example, E3SM20 and ARRM. So, I'll search here. I want to download this one first. Also, this one, uh, this one. Let's see if the model is available or not. Let's see. After that, the, it only have two, historical one. And then when I list, go to the list file, you see, it gives some error, something like that. Uh, it gives some error. When I see this, another option, that's why you must show all replicas and show all version because some of the version is not good. So check another version also, it's not good. So it's, it's, you might think that some problem with your software or something like that, but if it say that message is internal server error, that means this model is not good here. Maybe it, it's problematic or it has been removed. So do not, if you show the metadata, I don't know where they mentioned something like that. But uh, this this uh, model E3SM20 and NARMM, you can discuss this model because the problem is with the, with the website. So you can maybe put it as red. So you don't need to download this one. So usually I also found EA, this one also you cannot download. So you will end up with maybe 30 model, 30 model. But some of the model also not good. And I, I have end up with uh, 28 model actually for monthly rainfall data. So for monthly rainfall data that I was able to download last time, this I give you, uh, okay, this the study that I want to do. So the data will be, uh, this all this, this data 28 model so i put it here global climate sim model simulation data so i ex you must explain in the in your paper uh, how you decide the model so so based in this study i said uh, i use uh, socioeconomic worst case scenario only was used to assess this same performance in simulating the monthly rainfall data uh, you must mention monthly rainfall over Peninsula Malaysia, 28 model monthly, 28 monthly uh, atmosphere ocean general circulation model AOGCM with 100 nominal resolution was selected based on one ensemble member, which is R1, I1, T1, F1. It should be F1, uh, F1. Providing historical experience, experiment. Uh, so my my I am I'm using chips data set as historical one to refer to the historical uh, CMIP6. So it will I will download start download it from 19 uh, when I have historical data here, right? 
Uh, that's why you must decide first which uh, the period that you want to study. So the period that I want to study is from 1981 because I'm using a uh, chips rainfall data. Chips rainfall data, it starts from 1981. So for example, when I'm downloading the first, uh, maybe I can show this one. Cam CS, uh, Cam CS M10. And then we can search this model and look uh, how long the data is there. So we can look list of the data, historical ones. It will show here historical one. Look, historical. Uh, sometimes they only have one package, something like this. You can just download here. Download. It starts from 19, 1850 to 2014. So after you download, after you extract, after that you uh, select 1981 to 2014. Uh, but some data you can download year by year. You can easily select start from 1981. But some data start from uh, every every decade. 1980, 80 to 90, something like that, you must download one by one. But I like this arrangement, like actually, for, for like this model, CAMS, CAMS uh, CS M1, thank you, <laughs> because it's make people easy to download. You can just click one data and then download everything, rather than year by year. So it's very difficult, it takes time. But if you have very good internet, then download very easily. So I'm download I'm downloading this data from my university in the in my office. Not very fast. It's fast, but it still takes uh, hours or days to download. But in when I go to the twenty four hour room in our library, uh, it takes second to download. It's very fast. So it's depend on your internet uh, internet internet ah. It depend on your internet. So. This is historical data and then future data usually I will split it into two. Make sure it's the more than 30 years and, and more than 30 years. So here is 2021 to 2016, which is 40 years. And for the mid future and the far future is 2061 to uh, 2100. So, and then I'm downloaded this data from this website, uh, ESGF just now. So you can hear uh, the, yeah, you can just copy here, USGF, download, put it into your paper, access and download on 27 March 2024. Because uh, why you mentioned the debt? <laughs> because the debt, this is the uh, model that is all available to download at that time. Yeah, you see some people in the future, <coughs> maybe in six months or you finish your, your research, they said, oh, there is 33 model days. Why uh, there is only 28 model? Because at the time that you access the data, you can uh, uh, you can reply to reviewer that uh, because when you download the data on this day, uh, some of the model is not accessible. So some of the model is problematic. You, you can say something like that. That's why we only use this uh, model. So it's easily acceptable by the uh, reviewer. It's not a problem. So no need to go back again to download once the other model is available, it, you, you you will waste your time because this is the constraint that we decide from the beginning. So use this constraint, finish your research. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching.